When you're a superhero, maintaining a secret identity is pretty key to retaining a sense of normality in your day to day life. I mean, that is in between the day to day responsibility of protecting the innocent and fighting crime. <laughs> Not much normality there. But we have occasionally seen stories in comics where a hero's identity is revealed, drastically changing their dynamic with other characters, and affecting the public's perception of them, or even forcing them into difficult positions in both their personal lives and their public ones. So today we are taking a closer look at a handful of those moments with our list of the top 10 superhero identity reveals that changed everything. An identity reveal can mean a few different things. We'll be looking not only at superhero identity reveals to the public, but also ones to other superheroes or villains that made some major waves in their respective stories at the time. Also, warning my friends, there are a few spoilers for MCU films on this list, particularly the most recent Spider-Man film, Far From Home, so if you haven't seen it, Heads up. Now with that in mind, let's get to it. Starting us off in at number 10, Superman. Over the years, Superman's identity has been revealed, almost revealed, shared amongst allies, discovered by enemies, you name it. For a dude whose identity is masked solely by a pair of spectacles, the fact that he has remained anonymous to most is actually kind of impressive. Now, in 1986, in Superman issue 423, we got to see Clark Kent's secret identity exposed during a live television broadcast in a story penned by Alan Moore. Now, this would eventually be tossed out from continuity when Man of Steel would be rebooted, and the title of Superman's comics would be altered after this issue to Adventures of Superman, although still kept the issue count. Now, of course, Brian Michael Bendis is planning on having Superman reveal his identity as Clark. Kent to the world again in the most recent run of his comics. Because in case you didn't know, Bendis is attempting to ruin everything iconic about Superman. Remember when he decided to rewrite what happened to Krypton and Superman's father? Yeah, that was dumb and disappointing. So don't expect much from this upcoming story. But according to him, he's just bringing Superman closer to being, I quote, the best version of himself. Ugh. Up next, number 9, The Great Machine. Our next number comes from Brian K. Vaughn's Ex Machina, a series under DC's Wildstorm imprint. Now, the story follows the life of a vigilante named The Great Machine, a fellow whose identity is Mitchell Hundred, who in this universe is the one and only superhero in existence. Now, the narrative jumps between flashbacks of The Great Machine's days as a superhero and present day events when Mitchell is the mayor of New York. One of those flashback moments occurs in the 38th issue of the series, where we finally see how Mitchell's identity is revealed to the public and made public knowledge. Knowledge. Mitchell chooses to unmask himself when he announces that he is running for mayor of New York. Mitchell has chosen to reveal himself this way as a means of winning over more voters. If he's willing to sacrifice his life on a daily basis for the well being of New York City citizens, imagine how devoted he'll be as mayor of that city. Yeah, it's actually a pretty smart platform to run with. In at number 8, Green Lantern John Stewart. In 1985, in Green Lantern Volume 2, Issue 188, John Stewart revealed his identity. At the time, he was the only operating Green Lantern on Earth, with Hal Jordan having just retired from the Corps. John reveals his identity during an interview on a news channel with reporter Tawny Young. Generally, it wasn't too much of a blow to his reputation, minus getting fired from his day job, which like kinda sucked. But from then on out, John Stewart's identity remained out as public knowledge, and in the following year, year after waking up from the coma he was in, fellow Green Lantern Guy Gardner would also adopt the open identity and lack of a mask as well. In at number 7, Batman. Okay, so this one might be my favorite on this list. Similar to Superman, there has been numerous instances where Batman's identity has been revealed to another character or has almost been revealed to the public. But perhaps one of the best identity reveals for the Dark Knight comes at the hands of his pal, the Man of Steel himself. Superman. In this case though, we're looking at the Injustice universe, where the world's finest aren't really pals. This happens in the Injustice comics, and Superman uses a very 21st century method to get the news out there. He posted about Batman's identity on Twitter. His tweet was short and sweet, Batman is Bruce Wayne. Now for context, this occurs in the earlier days of their feud in that universe, and the tweet occurred after Superman attempted to reveal Bruce's identity on a live broadcast, which failed because Bruce shut it down before he could. Personally, I love some of the online reactions to these panels, particularly how fans questioned why Superman wasn't verified on Twitter, and how he managed to get that profile picture of him flying towards a camera. I mean, reasonable questions to ask, really. In at 6, Ozymandias. Ozymandias, aka Adrian Veidt from Watchmen, is a character whose identity was already exposed by the time we encounter him in the panels. But in terms of the overall story world of Watchmen, that reveal is one that continues to make an impact to this day. Now, for the sake of this number, we are solely looking at Watchmen and none of the new Doomsday Clock narratives. So, when the Keen Act was passed in the series, Ozymandias 
Ozymandias, the smartest man alive, took advantage of the situation and decided to publicly reveal his identity. In doing so, he used it as a marketing tool to further his ventures in the business world, building himself a multi billion dollar empire. Transparency has always been his shtick, so when it came to the reveal that he was ultimately behind the genocide scheme, his plan was so well orchestrated that there was no way anyone aside from his fellow peers and us readers would know the truth. That being said, Watchmen ends on a wee bit of a cliffhanger, with Rorschach having mailed his journal to a newspaper that reveals the truth prior to his confrontation with Veidt and his own death. Now, speaking of Watchmen character reveals, that brings us to our next number in at 5, Rorschach. Alright, so here we have a number that was more of a reveal to readers rather than a reveal in the story. Although, technically, it was one of those two. To be fair, Rorschach's identity is actually foreshadowed right from the very beginning of Watchmen, during Rorschach's first monologue. You can see a civilian identity, Walter Kovac, walking on the street below, carrying his sign, The End Is Nigh. A flash of red hair very visible in the panel. Walter's appearance on the streets of NYC continued throughout the series, always with him holding his sign. Then, when Rorschach is captured by the police after he's been set up by Ozymandias, we learn that the sign man and Rorschach are one and the same when he is demasked. And what he believes to be his true face, his mask, is ripped off of him. And when he's in prison, Rorschach's identity is revealed to all of the criminals he helped lock up. Yet when they riot and try to take him out, he outsmarts them yet again and maims them. And then is retrieved by Night Owl and Silk Spectre. Not rescued, just retrieved. He does need rescuing. In at number 4, Batman and Superman. Okay, so this reveal is literally a two for one. We are talking about that time that Batman and Superman in the Silver Age accidentally revealed their identities to one another and it just made them closer friends. So, back in 1952, Batman and Superman met and worked together for the very first time in Superman issue 76, long before they take teamed on the regular in World's Finest. Now, in this story, the two of them shared a cabin while on a cruise ship as Bruce Wayne and Clark Kent. When trouble is stirred up on board, they both react by saying they're tired and turn off the lights in their cabin. Then, while in the dark, they each quietly changed into their superhero costumes. But then, light pours through the porthole in their cabin, revealing the truth to one another. Pretty ridiculous, but also incredibly wonderful at the same time. Later versions of the story would be redone in more realistic ways, like in the animated 1997 Batman Superman World's Finest film. Up next at 3, Terra. DC's Terra has a different kind of reveal. She went from being a member of the Teen Titans to the shocking reveal that she was actually a villain, working for Deathstroke, and a completely different person than what we had seen her portrayed as being before. And also, her and Deathstroke might have a weird, inappropriate sexual relationship. Terra is the pivotal character in The Judas Contract, which is one of the most iconic Teen Titans storylines to date. She would join up with the Titans, flirt with Beast Boy, and then all of a sudden, this 15 year old superhero reveals herself to have been infiltrating the team, motivated out of her hate and anger towards the world. One of her creators also called her a slut, so almost caused the downfall of the team, too. The revelation of her true identity and motives occurred in Volume 2 of the New Teen Titans. Titans issue 34, and she would be later defeated for good, aka killed off, in the Tales of the Teen Titans Annual 3, 1984. Up next at 2, Spider Man. Spider Man is a character who's had reveals in both the comics and the MCU. And in both cases, the reveal has made major waves in their respective universes. Now let's start off with the MCU reveal, since that's the one that we haven't seen the full reaction to yet. So, in Spider Man Far From Home, in the first post credit scene, J. Jonah Jameson makes an appearance in which it's revealed that, despite Peter defeating Mysterio, the the villain had the last laugh, framing Peter as a homicidal criminal. He reveals his identity as well, which Jameson then exposed to the public, much to Peter's shock. Now, in the comics, Peter has had to juggle a few different reveals in the past. Back in 1966's The Amazing Spider Man issue 39, the Green Goblin found out Peter's identity after he found a way to neutralize his spidey sense. He trailed Peter home to discover him returning to Aunt May's house, and he then attacked him on the spot. But perhaps the more important reveal came much later, during the second issue of the Civil War story event. Peter's identity was publicly revealed, and it would eventually lead to a series of terrible events, including Aunt May being attacked and almost dying, with Peter having to strike a deal with Mephisto to save her, which in the process undid his marriage to Mary Jane Watson and rebooted him in Brand New Day, where his identity became a secret once more. And last but not least, in at number 1, Iron Man. This one is a double whammy yet again. We are talking Tony Stark in both the comics and the MCU for this number, since both were pretty darn monumental. And really, there's been multiple occasions in the comics where Tony Stark has revealed his identity to the public, but he's also taken it back a bunch of times. 1998's Iron Man Captain America Annual, Tony used 
used a device that made the world forget that he was a superhero persona. He once revealed his identity to the public in the middle of a press conference to save a dog. He revealed it again in Iron Man Volume 3, Issue 55 in 2002. It also happened in the first Civil War story event, which occurred between 2006 and 2007. Now that one was entirely intentional, and meant to be a permanent reveal, as a means of garnering support for pro-registration in Civil War Frontline Issue 1. What can we say? Tony loves the limelight, and he's strategic as f but the best reveal comes in the form of the cinematic adaptation of Tony Stark. In the MCU, at the end of the first Iron Man film in 2008, Tony Stark holds a press conference and decides that he's going to reveal his identity as a superhero, which is the event that is responsible for kickstarting the rest of the MCU. And that, my friends, is something that changed everything. Even in our own world, the pop culture impact that the MCU has had is undeniable. Alright, there we have it, friends. What other identity reveals shook you the most? Which ones did you find underwhelming? Give us a shout in those comments below and share all of your thoughts and feels. If you dug this video, you guys know what to do. Spread that love, hit that like button, and be sure to subscribe to Top 10 Nerd and join the Nerd Squad if you haven't already. In the meantime, though, thanks for watching, friends. I'll catch you all in the next video.